Hi everyone, it's Natalie here. Welcome. So I said this in my last video um, <clears throat> for the Mo Divination, but I also want to make sure to say it here. Um, thank you so much, all of you, for all of the beautiful um, messages and just loving support and kindness and compassion that you offered to me over the last few weeks. Um, they were hard and really those you can't you can't know how powerful um the love and the care <clears throat> it really is and uh it it was tremendous so i i want to make sure sorry computer something popped up there but i want to make sure before i start the tarot reading um to let you know how much i appreciated that and how much it meant because it was it was really very powerful for me so thank you um, so moving forward, uh, there is a video that I made just kind of outlining how everything went and, uh, I intend to put that out probably after the readings. So, um, that'll be coming just cause I wanted to really express the gratitude and just kind of talk about all of it a little bit. So yeah, but I thought I better just make sure that I say that a little bit in the video to begin with so that if somebody doesn't feel comfortable watching the whole video um although it doesn't get really horror i mean there's nothing bad in there it's nothing you know too triggering or awful and i don't i mean i'm not obviously i'm good <laughs> um i feel happy and complete and um i feel good about coming back to to reading again so with that said, uh, and in honor of the beauty and the love to be found in the animal kingdom, uh, I'm going to be reading with the Guardian of the Night Tarot by MJ Cullinane, which is absolutely gorgeous. I completely love it. These are the backings. Um, and I have pre-shuffled the deck so that we can just draw the cards. So, <clears throat> um... So here we go. So the first card of the week, and as usual, you'll see it in the description box, the reading um, or the uh, spread that I'm using is from Benabel Wen. So the first card describes the energy that will be most prevalent with us this week. Ooh, look at that. Somehow I had a feeling that the Empress might be there, might be part of it. So we're, there's something that we're uh, in the process of nurturing, like it, that's in the womb, that's being developed, that's um, in the process of arising. You know, there's, there's great fertility in our lives or an energy of great potential and fertility in our lives. Um, and that energy is going to feed into everything that we're doing over the coming week. It'll be interesting to see if it's something that's likely to come forth you know, uh, or if it's just going to kind of manifest as a, as a powerful energy, right. Of, of creativity and fertility and, um, the, ca the capacity to, to, um, kind of be nourishing and nurturing something through a fetal stage, right. Of, of its own development. That's what I'm really getting from this one. So it's not yet arisen, but it's the energy of it is there. So if you're someone who's engaging in a creative project, um, this would be a really, a really positive, helpful energy to have with you through the week. Uh, if you're somebody who's pregnant, again, you this is, or trying to get pregnant, this would be a very, very positive energy to have with you. Um, if you're someone who's renovating a home or a house, again, this this would be uh, a great way of, of energy of having with you to make it a, a more homey, um, you know, cozy, comfortable living environment. Um, yeah, if you're a parent, you've got extra superpower energy with you this week in the form of the Empress, you know, and her, her ability to nurture and care. A lot of parents are having to send kids back to school. So that nurturing energy, having that nurturing energy available uh, and, and ready to, to offer to your, your kids is probably going to be pretty, pretty critical for a lot of people in the coming week. So uh, know that that energy is there and it's available to you and um, 
draw on it if you need to. You know, it's hard to be a parent. I, I admire parents deeply. I don't know how they do it in all, in all truth. So, um, yeah. So the next card is what it's in our best interest to put our focus on for the coming week. Where our energy and focus is best used. Ooh, the chariot. Okay. Wow. This, so not, not exactly an insignificant reading this week, right? With two, um, two majors right off the bat. So, uh, the description that MJ puts in the book about this particular card is really pretty lovely. She writes about, um, the honey badger. <laughs> if you've never seen the honey badger video that went viral on YouTube years ago, you know, a honey badger just kind of barrels through things and pushes through things um, and gets through things to get where they're going without a whole lot of regard for what's around them. So it feels to me like this is an energy of needing to, you know, draw every bit of energy we have together, good, bad, positive, negative, um, you know, don't waste any of it, draw it all together and bring it forth, right? So keep pushing through towards goals, keep pushing through activities um, of daily life, right? You know, when they talk about the uh, ADLs, I, I guess I'm used to seeing that from working for a chiropractor and also working with elderly people They talk about the activities of daily life, you know, how are they impacted? Do they need more help or, you know, all of that. So, you know, the activities of daily life are, are in need of our ability to push forward. You know, keep doing them. Keep at it. Um, don't worry too much about how perfect things are. Don't worry about getting it right, necessarily. Just keep moving forward. I used to have a, um, a director, mentor in London. Um, her name was Di, and she, she, she used to say, you know, if you want to if you want to be able to move forward as an actor, you just, you have to just keep buggering on, right? You can't, you can't worry about one audition, the next audition, et cetera. How did it go? Analyzing things. Don't worry about it. Just keep going. And I feel like that's the energy of this one is just keep buggering on. You know, it may not be your best effort, but, you know, putting forth the ability to keep going, at least right now, is going to bring us closer to our higher goals as human beings than probably anything else that we can do this week. Okay. So where we might want to, um, bring quality to things or make them more perfect or more, um, I don't know what the word is, you know, just, yeah, we, we, we can't, we can't really put too much emphasis or, or concern on perfection. We just got to do it. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we can also trust that we've got the ability to nurture ourselves as we keep, oops, it's got to go either way. We have the ability to uh, nurture ourselves as we keep moving forward, right? So even as we're having to kind of keep pushing through, you know, this may also be a certain amount of, of self-compassion uh, or the ability, you know, this, this may give us the energy and the drive that allows us to keep moving forward, Um yeah, we'll see. We'll see, won't we? Um, and then finally, this would be the, the thing that we need to be aware of or that we need to be mindful of in the coming week. Oh, look at that. Oh, geez, this is not a small reading, is it? It's uh, three, three majors this week. So the world, you know, we're not, oh, wow, what, this couldn't be more timely. Whatever it is that we're pushing toward, right? Whatever it is that we're working for, uh, whatever it is that we're nurturing, I think the important thing is to remember our place within, you know, an entire, uh, an entire existence which is interdependent with and upon others. So nothing that we do is ever really uh, something that's just for us. You know, even the smallest things that we do for ourselves that keep us sane, those may be the things that stop us from being really, you know, having a difficult moment with, with, uh, a service provider, right? I went to, um, oh, 
I thought I would just take a little a little moment last week and treat myself to a nice meal. So I went to a Panera and um, found out later it's going to be closing soon. But the I'm not surprised because the employees were burned out. They were so burned out. And uh, there was someone ahead of me who had ordered a cappuccino and it didn't come out the way that she wanted. And she went full on Karen with this poor manager up to and including, can I talk to the manager? And then finding out that the woman she was speaking with was the manager and then being completely dissatisfied with that answer and wanting to go above her head even to find someone else to talk to. It was really, it was really sick making. Um, and you know, I did my best to keep the other people in line calm. You know, the, the, the woman who was having that difficult moment, you know, and who, for whatever reason, just felt she had to push to get the drink made the right way and all. Of the, I mean, I, she couldn't, it's like, can you not clearly see that everybody here waiting in line is being held up because of you? She couldn't see those things. Um, so what I'm trying to say is, you know, you can either, we don't want to be that person. I think most of us don't want to be that person who is the, is the thorn uh, in the side of everyone present, right? Because the, the reality is it's not just about your cappuccino. Uh, it's about everyone there and their ability to get food. You know, there was a teacher, there was a physical therapist. I was there. The three of us were sort of just shaking our heads and kind of looking at each other over our face masks. And of course the woman complaining wasn't even wearing one. It was really, it was a rough moment. Um, and instead of like interjecting myself into any of it, I just did my best to stay really grounded, not just for myself, but for the other two women who were really starting to huff and puff and feel angry. Um, and thankfully, like just by, by keeping things light um, and engaging and just offering them empathy, it was, it went okay. I have been that person that did the complaining and completely lacked self-awareness. And I have to say, those moments are not ones that I'm proud of. I don't think any of us ever feels proud of those moments. They're the ones we're real good at forgetting when, you know, when we get overwhelmed. But I've been that asshole. Don't be that asshole. Okay, be aware. <laughs> Instead, be aware that you're part of a greater picture. You're part of a bigger picture. And your role as part of that bigger picture, much like a bee in a hive, is to do your part, okay? So as you do your part, thinking that it really doesn't count or it really doesn't matter, remember, you know, your being late for one appointment throws off the appointments of everyone else that day. So it may throw out, I mean, speaking as someone who deals with people that make appointments and show up late and so forth, it may throw appointments off for people all over the area for the entire day because of one, one, Right. So just I think the, the thing to be mindful and aware of, you know, those little niggling details, those small things that we do in life, they're not small. They're actually really big. They matter. So be careful and mindful about the way that you interact. Um, be mindful of the way that your use of time impacts and affects everyone around you um, and what that does. You know, and and wherever possible, if you can't contribute something of use or of help, at least be willing to step aside or be out of the way so that you don't, you know, so that we're not the ones bringing something extra to the situation that's unhelpful. Okay, so I feel like that's really very much about this particular world card, right? As a honeybee exists as part of, of uh, an entire hive, an entire system of which it is a part, but a pretty significant part, right? We can't function, we can't function as a society without the individuals that comprise it, okay? So you push forward, you, you keep going, you do what you have to do, you, you know, like this, um, um, like the honey badger, you get where you have to go, okay? Do what you have to do. And remember, you know, that you're doing this from a place that, that, includes uh, a nurturing, loving energy. You know, it, it, it has within it the mother. Yeah, we all have within us a mother. We have the ability to mother and remother ourselves at any moment. Um, and then just to wind up the reading, 
Uh, I thought it would be fun too to bring out the Urban Crow Oracle by MJ Cullinane. I love this deck um, and I haven't worked with it as much as I'd like to. It feels like the right time of year to start bringing it out. I also pre-shuffled it. Here's its little guidebook. Um, and here are the backings. It's beautiful. I love her work so much. So I'm going to just go ahead and draw one card from this deck. Commitment. Yeah, commitment. So here we have, you know, the, the two parent birds. Um, I think. Yeah, we've got the two parent birds. Um, devoted to one another uh, and to a, a, a common purpose, you know, growing together, working together. So I would say as we look at these three cards, um, let me see if I can put them in the right order. Ugh, it's always a challenge. Okay, one, two, three. I think we were there. I think we're there. I think we're good. So as we look at these three cards um, and consider what they're asking of us, they're, they are asking us ultimately to be true to our word, you know, to honor the commitments that we make, um, you know, to hold space around that and to take care of ourselves and one another. You know, who are the people that share the nest with us? Uh, what are our commitments to them and how can we better honor those, right? So in, in the rush to keep moving forward, um, you know, remembering that we are a part of something bigger and greater and you know, what we do to nurture and nourish and honor the people we love and, and ourselves is a part of that commitment, you know, so it's a commitment to self and it's a commitment to those that we love and care about and with whom we share our space or our nest. Yeah. All right, friends, I wish you a beautiful week and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.